India's Mars mission has completed its journey after spending eight years in the red planet's orbit, Mangalyaan has bid goodbye. India's space research organization has said that the mission's operational life has now ended following the exhaustion of fuel on board the Mangalyaan. So did the Mars mission conquer off prematurely or did it exceed expectations? Our next report tells you. India's Mars mission has come to an end. ISRO says the fuel on board the Mangalyaan aircraft has been exhausted. Also, Mangalyaan could not be pointed towards the sun to generate solar power. The Mars Orbiter mission lost contact with Earth on the 2nd of October. MOM or Mangalyaan was India's namaste to the red planet. It has now run out of fuel. The name Mangalyaan comes from the word Mangala, meaning Mars and Yana, meaning craft. Mangalyaan was India's first interplanetary mission. It was launched in 2013 with the objective to study Martian soil, also the red planet's atmosphere. The mission reached the red planet's orbit in 2014. India was the first Asian country to achieve this feat. Also only the fourth in the world following the United States, Russia and China. All of these countries had spent a hefty sum to reach the red planet. NASA's MAVEN, for example, cost $651 million. India's mission, in comparison, came with a price tag of $72 million. Hollywood movie The Martian has cost more. So what made India's Mars mission so cost effective? domestically developed technology and a lighter design. So here's the obvious question. Did Mangalyaan conk off before time? Actually, far from it. Reports say Mangalyaan was designed to be kept afloat for just six months. It managed to stay put for eight long years. Basically, Mangalyaan exceeded expectations. To date, it has sent over 1,100 images. It has also published a Mars Atlas. Based on MOM data, scientists have been able to publish more than 35 research papers in peer-reviewed journals. Mangalyaan is India's pride. Also ISRO's pride. India's space research organization is already working on sending another mission to Mars. But before Mangalyaan 2, ISRO will be launching Gaganyaan which is India's maiden human space flight mission. Ganganyaan is expected to be launched in 2024. Then there is Chandrayaan-3. This will be a follow-up mission to Chandrayaan-2. India will be aiming to safely land on the moon and roving on the lunar surface. This mission is scheduled for 2023. There is also Aditya L1. It will be India's first space-based mission to study the sun. India is aiming to study the sun's atmosphere, physics of solar corona and its heating mechanism. Aditya L1 is expected to blast off in 2023 too. Now, while this is quite an exciting lineup, India needs to ensure that it continues these high-profile missions in order to boost India's space image. You see, when India made it to Mars in its first attempt and without the burden of a heavy price tag, the world sat up and noticed. Mangalyaan propelled India's image as a credible space nation. There were instant results. Countries queued up to send their payloads through ISRO. The Mars mission also boosted ISRO's image at home with the scientific and technical community. When India reached Mars, billions stood up and clapped. The mission created a sense of enthusiasm among the young generation. It created a sense of eagerness to learn more about the mission and about space in general. If one mission can achieve so much, imagine what multiple such missions can do. We on World is One. We on World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.